All right, so you guys are cruising through the barrel builder, making your custom barrel, and you get to the second page, and the first thing that comes up is the contours. Well, you have four options here. You have the tapered factory, heavy factory, full bowl, and muzzle loader contour. So let's dive in and talk about by far the most common contour that we sell. That is the regular rifle, heavy factory, same as the Pro Hunter rifle. It has your standard forearm with the two 840 screws that are five inches apart, and they mounts up to the same one, whether it's a tapered factory or heavy factory barrel. The only difference between the tapered factory and heavy factory profiles is the taper from here to the muzzle at 725 instead of 810. The 810 straight is all that we go down to, unlike a 44 cal, we won't do the taper because it just becomes too thin out here. You can't put iron sights on it and accuracy goes down. Here's another option for people who make their own stocks or they have hanger bars or something like that. You can do the rifle and pistol option. This is most common on the heavy factory profiles as well. And they have the 840, prof the 840 screws just like your regular rifle or regular pistol forearms. Okay, up next we have our strongest forearm mounting situation possible. And it probably looks familiar if you guys have a muzzleloader because this is the muzzleloader forearm and we have mimicked the TC muzzleloader adapters that allow a ramrod to pass through. So yeah, you can buy a muzzleloader from us. They come standard with it. Or you could buy a heavy recoiling cartridge like a 444 Marlin and have the same adapters put on and use your same forearm if you already have a muzzleloader. And the difference is between the mounting here, which is a dovetail, and then your screw is a quarter 28 versus an 840, like a regular rifle screw. You have a lot better chance of that thing not stripping out the range or breaking off under recoil for any reason like that. We also have shotgun forehand ready barrels as well. And this is how you can get the 875 profile. You might not have the muzzle at our forehand, but you have a 20 or 28 gauge factory forehand like this one and they are inlet for the adapters for a 1032 screw. And they also make a 12 gauge version, which is for a one inch bull barrel. So you can put the same adapters on a one inch bull and put your, one, your 12 gauge for, forehand right onto it. No problems. Okay guys, I hope that helped answer which contour goes with which forehand on your TC Encore. If you want to see any other videos on this FAQ page, please drop a comment, like the video, subscribe. Thanks for watching.